Welcome back to Zipper T Conspiracy here. Today we're working on the restoration of the cab over. Most importantly, I got C2. I got some ticky tacks. But later, we plan on working on the windows, getting them sealed up and in place. I bought a sheet of MDF to build a subwoofer. What the heck, doggy? I bought a sheet of MDF to build a subwoofer box for in here. Guess how much this sheet cost? Well, I'll tell you, it's freaking $87. Used to be able to get sheets of MDF for $30 before the world has ended. Oh, I miss those days. Kind of got sidetracked here, so I'm going to look at a company tomorrow. Call them up to see if I get the V-strip for that. They have a universal, like, 50 feet of it, but I just want to make sure it's right so I'm not ordering more of this stuff and then having it be wrong. What I'm doing now, just to waste time, is there's a little gap between the two wood like frames for the bed. I'm going to fill that with some two, two L channels here. I'm going to poor man weld them together on the floor. Maybe I can blow up some concrete. Probably not, but I had a square around here, so I cut the square in half into two L's. And we'll weld that together here. It's been a little while since I welded, so don't make fun of me, okay? I'm a pretty, a pretty wild grinder, so I'm hoping that my camera doesn't get destroyed by doing this. But, but it's so cool! My crappy welds here. are grounded off. Let's see if I can ruin myself. Huh. Got some welds at the bottom too. Still pretty hot, but hey, let's do a test fit. See if I can burn myself. Look at that. It looks like a piece of garbage. But hey. But hey. I don't know if it'll be like the princess in the pea. But this idea is so you don't feel that gap in the mattress. I might not even need that, but I want to do something today at least instead of just wasting my time. Mm -hmm. I'll wait on windows until next weekend. I only got weekends to work on this stuff, but I want to get the V strip in and I'll, I'll fix up that window. I want to get the panels on so the windows actually work and then finish up that. Finish up the dash. 
You like my custom freaking warning lights? Sadly, I didn't do too much today with the actual semi truck. I got that metal plate in. I was doing a lot of research about the rubber V seal. I need to get that in before I get the windows in, and that kind of really discouraged my day. I'll show you what I have plans for the future. I have, I'll show you here. I have a good one of these. This is for the lights on the corners. They go right there. Let me turn you all around. They go up there, they hold the lights out, but I only have a good one of these. So what I plan on doing is I plan on making a resin, plastic resin mold of this and making another one that way because I can't seem to find a good quality one anywhere. What am I trying to find here? Yeah, here's my old one. Old versus new here, so. The right one is the good one, the left one, someone grinded it down. I don't know if the truck was rolled, I don't think it was. But I'm gonna end up trying to reproduce this piece. I have to also reproduce the headlight bezels because I have four of them and all of them have cracks or they're chipped out, so we'll see how that goes. I never actually made resin molds of anything before, but it's gonna be a nice new experience. If you like this short video, Thank you. I hope you have a good day, night, whatever. I might supplement this video with a random clutch adjust video that I have. I don't know what to do with yet. And again, I'm sorry that's a short video. Just kidding. I don't really care. It's my time. See ya. Good day. So, I put... 3,000 kilometers on this new to me truck and when I first got it the clutch was pretty bad but today today I've discovered that the clutch is actually gone like I have to start the truck in gear now to actually get going so we're gonna take a little venture underneath and see if we can fix that issue of course I decided to park in a mud hole in a rail yard so good for me we're going on an adventure. We don't know what's in store. Oh my gosh. Oh, I make this pretty low. So, why is my transmission super wet? What's wrong? Why are you leaking? What I'll do in the morning is I'll actually check the check how much oil is in that because transmission shouldn't be leaking. It's a sealed unit. Woo. So Let's see if I can get you a good view here. So, semi truck clutch is a bolt right there. That's the adjustment. And we look up here. And there's the actual clutch. Which looks very wet, but we'll just ignore that. That could just be grease, even though it looks like oil. So what I have to do is, right there is the clutch brake. On a semi truck, when you press the clutch in all the way, that brake right there, like this whole thing comes this to, towards that brake and it stops the transmission from spinning so you can get the truck in gear. What I'm going to do is I'm going to force the clutch this way towards that brake and then I can do an adjustment on that bolt right there. 
to get it the, so I can use the clutch again. So I'll be back. I'm just going to put my foot on the brake and then come out here at the same time. So got a load bar here. I hate Peterbilt's because the clutch goes in the floor. Of course, it's muddy out here, so the clutch pedal became useless me trying to push it down. But that's in the floor, now we can go down. So Dougie, with the clutch pressed right there, this center, whatever you call it, is now up against that clutch brake. And the clutch can be adjusted now. So, you take a 5 8 you stick it on there, you have to push that in to actually adjust it. And it's usually clockwise, the better, counter the worst, so. Of course the engine's hot as frig. So I'm taking a wrench to push in the socket. We're going to try to hear a click here. Try turning it on, see if this is good enough. <laughs> Even though I'm the only one here, I still take out my key. Dun 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 dun. So, in neutral, ice cap. Turn this guy on. So. I'm gonna fully press down the clutch to the floor. See if I get in gear, and I can. Before I couldn't, so it, when I do it, you would hear that, right? What I ended up doing is the gap between the clutch brake and the what do you call that, the cylinder, or whatever. The 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 bearing thrust. I don't know what it's called. It's a bearing, anyways. You, I put it around a half an inch gap, slightly better, and then I also coordinated that with the clutch pedal so it has good throw and a good distance between because in theory, that clutch pedal should be set up right. My issue that I'm having now is I have my clutch back where if I throw it in a neutral with the clutch pressed, it works, but if I let the engine spin it at all, it seems to not stop. And I think that's due, I've seen some grease on the actual clutch brake. But it also might be that whoever had this before was very mean to the clutch brake. And actually broke off the teeth that actually slow down the transmission. So either of those, we'll see. That'll be a later issue. At least I can stop and go and not have the, not have the transmission just start freewheeling on its own. So... If I do upload this video and you enjoyed it, thank you. And I wish you a good night. I'm going to get some sleep now and hopefully a better day tomorrow. See ya. I'm not going to sleep at night if I don't check the clutch brake. If it freely spins or not, since I haven't actually tried it yet. Upon further inspection, the clutch brake seems to be it seems to be cash money. I'm just freaking dumping a bunch of dirt in my face. <laughs>